writer from Sethway.com. Uh, today we're at Jalan Basar and we're going to have dinner at this new place, relatively new place at Kampong Amin Dim Sum. And what's special about them is that they serve an all halal menu while serving uh, your regular Chinese dim sum dishes. Now we're in uh, Kampong Amin Dim Sum and most of our food is here. So we're starting with the tiger prawn spring roll. It's this one. It's actually pretty uh, crispy on the outside even after sitting for a while, which is always great. The whole prawn is like not, it's like still intact. Next, we're going for the Dragon Ball. It's a really interesting name. This is made of um, chicken and shrimp and then deep fried with the spring roll skin. So you can see it's quite, quite a crazy thing. So I heard it's recommended that you uh, could eat this with the Thai dip. So I'm just going to try that. Their dips and sauces here are homemade. So it's very flavorful inside. You can see that it's quite um, homogeneous. Uh, most of the exterior has kind of fallen off as you can see. The Thai dip adds a bit of um, tangy and spicy flavour but it's not overwhelming so I like that. Okay, so the scallop dumpling is uh, it's actually a mix of scallop and shrimp inside. I'm personally a fan of um, dumplings, steamed dumplings more than fried dumplings in general but I have to say that the fried dumplings here are more... I enjoy them more here. It's just a bit more excitement when it's crispy. Okay, now we move on to this, which is the crispy kailan with chicken floss. This is one of the most popular dishes and, uh, here at Kampong Amin. And they were actually very excited to have me try this one. So, let's get into it. You can see the leaves are actually quite uh, crispy. When you touch it, you can hear the uh, crackling, which is quite ASMR worthy. <laughs> Tried it with this. I quite enjoy the Kailan just by itself. It's, um, it's a nice, crispy, and there's a little hint of bitterness, especially when you go nearer to the stalks. The chicken floss adds a bit of sweetness that I think could, you could go without, but it works too. Okay, now we're trying the seasoned chicken feet. There's this murderous looking uh, chili, red cut chilies on top again, which I shall abstain from. mixed feelings about this. It's, um, it's rich in a way that, that can get a bit too overwhelming. I think it's a pretty good for if you want to like share it, then you get a smaller, smaller pro proportion but you get a taste of it. Now we're going for the chili crab with manto. I've always avoided saying manto because I can never get the tones right. It's just embarrassing. So let's give it a try. Especially the uh, crab meat sitting on top, which is such a beautiful piece of plating. I'm just going to try it like that first. So the sauce is, um, as you might expect, it's spicy and with a bit of sweetness. I think it, it balances out, like you need the bigger chunks of crab meat to um, complement the spice. If not, it just gets too spicy, you don't really taste anything else. But the highlight is the manto which we will try now. No! God! Hiya! I can't really call you out for putting your feeling inside the manto. Yeah. No? 
Why? It's just pure physics. If you dip it inside, the sauce falls around and you don't get a good you just you just it's just neater if you put it inside. So this is advice for everyone guys. No. Okay, we just finished our meal at Kampong Amin Dim Sum and it was a pretty nice experience. The staff here are really friendly and attentive, so it makes for a very pleasant dining experience here. And I think what, what, one of the main selling points about Kampong Amin Dim Sum is that they serve quite a unique variety of food. And like for example, we have the uh, deep fried kailan, and that was a pretty unique dish. I've never seen something like that before. We've come to the end of our vlog. Thank you so much for watching. And See you next time. Bye!